Sabi, to the job for trade, come on, you guys. Today, with a special edition tonight, man. So, we're going to really quick go over this stock that was brought to my attention that it could potentially move tomorrow, right? So far, uh, our special edition is being performed pretty good. So, I'm happy about it. So, you know, just we're going like, to uh, keep looking for it, you know, keep uh, finding, you know, ho hopefully we get, you know, keep maintaining this strike. So, really quick, we're going to again uh, go with this stock today uh, is DFLI, Dragonfly Energy Holdings. Um, I traded this one in the past, and it did, it did pretty, did pretty good. I mean, I, I can't complain about the returns. So obviously now it, it seems to be coming out to a very important level. So again, we're gonna really quick go over the fundamentals and the technicals, and and see if it's gonna pay for tomorrow, right? But obviously we have to be respecting our execution, our risk management, as always, guys. You know, and in executing when we do see the opportunity, right? So once again, it's DFLI that is the uh, stock for tomorrow. So what are what are we actually expecting about this? Well, first of all, it's sitting at 93 cents, almost 94 cents. Um four days ago, there was a price target announced of 1.75 shares by Alias Global Partners, which is an institution. And if we go back a little back in the past, we can see that as well, four days ago, they did have a PR uh explaining that global partners they have uh sorry about that one, they had a capital agreement. See here, they have uh, purchased 150 million equity facility to sell shares of close common stock. Right? Now, although they might not be as, they don't, the news wouldn't sound as bullish, right? Uh, we also can see how the price of is being retracing so far. So we're going to start thinking about it. Uh, at some point, it's going to have to bounce, right? I mean, like nothing goes uh, down forever, like we know. At some point, things cool bounce. Uh, there's already bounced from the support level, as you can see here. It taps almost the 85, 89 support and it bounced. Uh, we are getting near the 60 MA, of course. So you guys do know how the 60 MA it is uh, a hard to retracement pullback. So we will see if tomorrow we have a you know a bounce from this area because zooming in as well. We can see how we are hanging around the same four area. Um this 90 cents. So obviously that could potentially be a double bottom as well. But obviously, what we're gonna be looking here is uh for the confirmation. So what is the confirmation? It is that if we do have this bounce that we're looking for, because we also can see how the selling pressure is being decreasing on the MACD and the bottom bars, as you can see here. Uh, ideally, we want to see reclaiming the trend, right? So ideally, we really want to see uh, the FLI breaking this 99 cents and dollar cycle like a level. And obviously, if it's possible and break resistance is 1.2, I think that we can have a decent move. You know, that was like 115, or potentially move to one uh, sixteen, which is the next resistance, right? I mean, that will be like a nice twenty percent if given. Uh, we can zoom in out, zoom in a little more. We can see that we are be definitely being inbound trending uh, on most of the time frames. So this is why it's very important, guys, that you need to uh, wait for confirmation, right? Although, uh, for example, the one hour it is signaling a potential uptrend with buyers. Are still below the EMA. So this is what is very, very important, guys, that you have to wait for the breakout, right? It's a 29 million fold stock. Uh, bottom is being already you know, increasing for a minute, but although we definitely want to see uh, the bottom getting above its average, right? Friday bottom was 544,000. Average bottom is 1.2 million. So obviously, ideally, we want to see the bottom above that. But if we are able to get the bottom, uh, we can see that, you know, again, because we are a 29 million fold stock, and we could potentially have a decent move, right? Checking the inflow, we can see that we're slightly above uh, the outflow. That tells me, you know, the you know the buys and the sell are pretty even. So obviously, we want to see a little more um more push here. Checking the short interest, we definitely see that we're very very shorted here. You know, a lot of shorts are on this, and obviously that could actually be can be good and can be bad at the same time because you know obviously they're, they're the ones being pushing the price down. But obviously, if a PR comes, you know, a, you know, a press release, a positive press release or news comes out, we could put them in a, you know, make a short squeeze here, right? And, you know, kind of like force them to close uh, their positions, right? Now, again, just because they got that PR at 1.75, then obviously traders could use that as an excuse to, you know, push up and break out. But ideally, again, we have support sitting at 0 0.8589, which at the same time is near the 200 EMA. This 0 0.8746. So this 8586 area is going to be very, very important tomorrow, right? We do not want to see below that because obviously if it goes below that, then you want to manage the risk. 
But ideally, uh, again, this is the, you know, the best case scenario is that we bounce and break that $99 uh, $1 that we are mentioning, guys. All right. Again, it's Tuesday. All the, all the guys, all the updates are going to be in the community. So, again, if you want to be part of the team, you know what to do, guys. Uh, join up. Link is in the description. Of course, don't forget to use the discount to be part of the team. But once again, all the updates are going to be here in the community. So, don't miss them out. Join the team. Uh, you know, let's bank. And again, this is the last week of the month, guys. So I know there are going to be opportunities out there. So you have to be pending. You have to be in the lookout. And of course, be with the right people, right? And again, the Alpha community, it is the family. And also, we are very consistent and profitable what we do. All right, guys? So again, that's the minus out there. You guys know. So I hope to see you guys tomorrow. And once again, don't forget to again, like and subscribe, guys. We have a lot to talk, a lot more bangers, a lot more special editions. We have a lot, a lot to do this 2024 year. All right, guys? So take care, and I'll see you guys in a minute. Bye.